What's up, everyone? How's it going? Uh, here we are, Pure 40. Uh, I'm just going to talk about how, what my, my thought process is going from behind the cage. So first, you have to survey the field, survey everything that's in front of you. Okay, make sure everybody is settled, calm down. Okay, and so you, when you dodge, uh, it's not an easy double. It all depends on how the defense is playing you, how your defender is playing you, if someone's sliding and whatnot. But it's all things that you have to process very quickly. When dodging from behind, I'm really concentrating on getting the five and five every single time. In order to do that, the easiest thing to get the five and five is to get a step on your defender. And that means you have to dance behind the cage a little change bit. Change direction, change speed. Be very deceptive in order to get that initial step so that you can get in front of him and head to five and five so that he's not able to force you out to the sideline and, and back behind the goal. So I think what's important is to make sure whichever side you're dodging to is that there's room over there. So it's all adapting the situations, um, seeing what the defense is giving you, uh, but at the same time using the skills that, that you have in order to do whatever you can to get a shot off. Great time to dodge is off of another person's dodge, a midfielder, um, a wing dodge, taking advantage of attention being on someone else, and the ball gets to you. Every time I'm dodging, I'm thinking, get a shot off first, okay? Get a shot off second, looking to feed third, okay? And then if that's not happening, okay, continue to dodge through goal line extended through the five and five and create a good scoring opportunity for your team.